สวัสดีค่ะ everyone welcome to ชันค้า food stylet in this section I'm g o i n g to show you how to create a platter uh, garnishing a platter by using a few of the carving and I have half of watermelon here and I peel the skin off and uh, save the skin to carve the leaves so let's get started so it will go a little faster this time I'm gonna use the uh, canopy cutter here or you can draw it with your uh, paring knife or a carb carving knife whatever you uh, have on handy this is pretty uh, much easy and you know precisely you want the flower to have the same uh, size all the time so create a center we're gonna carve a rose out of this piece of half of the melon that insert your knife don't go uh, too slanted toward you go out and then uh, follow that shape See if I can do without turning too much of my watermelon here. And then when you trim it out on the other side, it will not uh, cut through your melon. It might be a little soft, this uh, watermelon here. Okay. Let me get my carving knife, it's much easier for me. A little mushy, so I have to wear a glove today. Uh, let's see, go down a little deeper. Don't open up on the outer side here too much because otherwise uh, you're not gonna you're gonna have a big gap in your layer layering. You can trim it later, but not at first. Now, once you have created the center, you're gonna divide your petal by carving a half moon shape. Go back, slightly trim it off, get some space there. Again, start from here, trim the corner out. Another half moon shape. Trim the inside out at the same time and the outer side. So you don't have to go back and trim again. Okay. Then continue moon shape. And then it's kind of difficult to carve a half a melon. I have to turn the uh, the plate here. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Then another half moon shape and trim it out. We get five petals and cut another small half a moon shape and trim the center. Okay, there you go. Then uh, rolling out this corner, all the corner left and right need to trim it out we get ring ready to carve a petals you have to see there's a lot of juices inside of this melon that means it's too much juicy and it's 
the melon is too young so it's not gonna be red red it's kind of awkward to trim it like this okay now lay your knife flat tuck it under here curve it oops and trim it out see i just cut it oh difficult to and this side I hope you guys can see it very mushy. Okay, let's go to the inside. You're gonna carve a simple petal in between. Curve, trim it out. Overlap, trim it out. Always play your knife overlap the last pedal to just you have to use a special skill and handy work to get into this little spade here. Okay, we finish with the outer form, I mean the center of our rose. Now you can decide you want this type of petal on the other layer or you want to go ahead and open up petals. So I'm gonna show you the same method so you know how to work with this type of carving in the future. In between here by Insert your knife and cut a half circle or half moon again and trim it out. Okay, now continue. Overlap and bring half of that. Trim it out. Okay. Overlap and bring it half of that petals. Half moon cut. Keep an eye on your uh, cut. Make sure they are the same width this here okay not too big the larger uh, circle half circle that you make it means your petals could become wider because you might not see very well from that so I'm gonna Go ahead, do this for you guys again. Roll it out toward the, some people roll it in. Like that. You can do it both way, in and out. Whichever you comfortable with, okay?
Okay, once that you have all your petals, shape this form. Tuck your knife underneath here. Slice and bring it to a circle. Pass the center, swing it out. This side. The more you tuck down your petals, rose petals gonna curve more. Okay, now again here, tuck, roll it out. Thick. Okay. Again. I told you they become very mushy, difficult to carve. Okay, there it is. Do you see there? Okay. Now you have all this waste spade here that you can work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and carve a leaf on this section here. You're gonna carve more like a triangle, a little curve. Now you're gonna slit cut to show that uh, this is a vein of the leaf. Okay. Then, wait, I will show you if you want. See there, okay. Now, another one here. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they're overlapping. A hey, first one. lead cut Okay, there it is. You can also carve another uh, flower on this side or on this side, okay? And then cut it out or you wanna cut out just like this. It's up to you, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Let's go for this side, carve.
I'm gonna go ahead and carve another rose on this side here. Okay, now you have this rose, which is a petal all split because it's corner. You need to carve a petals that go this way. Otherwise, if you do again this side, this one is going to have a little gap here because the two petals is going out like that, okay? That's another technique. So what you need to do, you can create a half circle from here. Oops, I'm using the knife the wrong side. And then half circle, trim it out. Half circle, trim it out. Okay. If you're gonna get four petal, which is fine, because sometimes it's not gonna be the same flower every time. So that means it might look smarter. trim the inside. I hope you can see this. It's difficult for me to hold on this watermelon here. Okay, let's go with the inside first. Carving a petals. Trim it out. Okay, let's go. Like I say the petal is very mushy. So it's not taking a shape or a red, red, red color on this watermelon here. get a pinkish roses
Okay, there you go. See that? You can copy like that on this side as well if you like. Why don't we do that so you see? Go ahead and carve half a circle there. Trim it out. Another slice. Trim it out. And third one. Trim it out and trim the corner. Tuck, cut, cutting out this side. I cut it too much okay there it is and you can have another leaf here or a small bud of flower here okay you can have three flower here but I'm gonna go ahead and cut a small leaf here on this section There you go, you see there, you have a rose bundle here that you can cut out and put in your plate garnish. Okay, now let's cut it out so you know how to do it. Insert your knife inside. And Cut out your carb in here. And trim it out. Let. Okay. See there? Now you can use this to garnish your uh, platter or a food plate and go back and see unfinishing piece or area. Need to go back and reshape it and then rinse it with water so all the scrap come out from all your carving here and I will show you how to put together your foot tray garnishing stay tuned guys
Okay, guys. I'm going to show you how to cut the banana leaf here. If you don't have banana leaf, then skip this part. But uh, for garnishing, for those that long, don't want too much carving, I have banana leaf here, and I shred it into a tear into a small strip here. Uh, the width of your leaf that you're going to carve here. And banana leaf is very easy to tear. You just no need to be cutting scissors, anything like that. And then trim the straight out the bottom part here and see how long you want your petals gonna be. I'm not gonna keep it long, but I'm gonna go ahead and right straight cutting basic cutting here for you can use for sushi garnish or you can use for play garnish or be part of the leaf for your uh, carving uh, flower carving I'm gonna carve uh, in an angle here I'm gonna fan it out make sure your knife is sharp and then go ahead and cut into a strip like a grass, you know, when you do a, <laughs> a drawing of some sort, you're gonna cut a little strip like a grass, and then I'm gonna go ahead and curve into a leaf form here, and I'm gonna cut a small triangle here, Okay, you get something like this. Now, this may be too long. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it out. Okay, then you get this format here. See there? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut an opening here to give this piece interesting look. Okay, then you open up, you will get this shape here. You can use this for uh, sushi garnet. I cut it big because I'm going to use for play garnet, okay? And to do that, this is more like sushi, right? It's kind of flat. So what you need to do, you need to fold it. Bend it, tuck it over, and fold it. Okay. So they become a little pop up. Somehow the center don't want to cooperate. Anyway, okay, just like that. And hold it with your finger here, and then do the other one. See, I kept my, I watched it because it had a lot of dirt into it and I left it dry so it's kind of dry out some of them and then some are a little crunchy here. Then you put two together like this, I'm off the camera right there. And I'm using this stapler here, staple this together so you get a bundle of leaves here and you can sit your carving whatever here and it's gonna stay better than just flat okay and uh, you need to just put it in the water so they become a little fresher and then uh, take shape better okay you can use this for garnish sushi if you like place some food there or you can use it for uh, carving to be part of the leaf or flower, whatever you're gonna create. Okay, let's do another design here with the banana leaf. I have two layer here. Cut two at once and again cut a
strip I'm gonna cut about two then I'm gonna go ahead and shape the part of the leaf here and you open it up it's just look like that but if you want something inside of this uh, open up cut the pattern you can so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little opening here See there, and again, you can use it for sushi garnish, or you can use it for the uh, leaf pattern. So, again, for it, see the crunchiness <laughs> because it's fresh, it's gonna break a little bit, but it's okay. And then you put this together, stapler. Then you get a garnishing that you, whatever you wanted to use it for, or you can use it for sushi if you like. The cutting board is not smooth, so it get this uh, rough cutting there. Okay, guy, they put, I'm gonna put all our food carving together for you so you can use to decorate your platter okay guys let's put our fruit uh, plate together i have cut the circle here of the banana leaf and then jaggedy ate it you don't have to if you prefer just like that but i thought that will give a little freshness and green to our plate here so i play my uh banana leaf circle here and then let's bring back our carving here I have this one that I carve and then we have carved this rose together remember that you can play it any way you prefer here I'm gonna put it right there okay Then we're gonna bring back our leaf cutting. Remember this? You have two design of the leaf cutting. This one and this one. Okay? The uh, toothpick to support my piece, poke through the green and then poke through the flower there and let the part of it hang out so it become its leg stand for the fruit here. See there, it's pop up and it doesn't fall off. Okay, and this one, we're gonna move up a little bit. We're gonna break between that, so I'm gonna insert this little piece here to break. this uh, piece of carving here or well, you can do it this way since we have a lot of green on it actually you don't have to put the uh, banana leaf on here but I just want to show you that you can do any Let's help this one also, it seemed to fall down. Oop. 
think I have squeezed it too much. Okay. There you go. It might be difficult for you to see because I have banana leaf on the tray here. Why don't I move it out so you can see better here? Can you see better now? Okay. There you go. And then you're going to bring back your carving, your fruit, or melon, whatever you uh, have. And if you have any strawberry, kiwi, whatever you can add to, but saying I don't have it, so we're just gonna go like that. Use that piece small one to pop up the back there. Okay, guy. So you have a food tray already here to present your uh, serve to your guests. Go ahead and decorate your uh, plate or platter. Enjoy! Thank you for watching, guys, and take care. I hope you enjoy this little short segment with me here. Uh, how to garnish your fruit platter with a little carving and add interesting of the banana leaf or any kind of leaf that you have and then it's not poison to be on a food. Uh, plate then you can add to it so that is another idea take care and i will see you next time bye bye สวัสดีค่ะ everyone enjoy